When did you turn it on? Um, about an hour ago. My name is Gwen Hennen, and I'm from the University of Washington, and I'm a graduate student. On this cruise, I'm measuring all the cells that are in the water as we cruise through the Atlantic. We're interested in where two water masses meet, if it creates special conditions that favor lots of different types of phytoplankton to be able to thrive. So first, seawater flows into a bucket where all the bubbles are taken out. And then my intake pulls in seawater straight from that bucket and shoots it through a tiny stream where a laser hits the stream. Every time a cell passes the laser, the scattering of the laser and the fluorescence that's given off by the cell is collected by the optics of my instrument. So we come out on these cruises, but you never really know if your equipment's going to work until you're out there running it, and it's a little scary. Okay, so the problem is that there's plenty of beads, which are my standard, in the close tometer that I can see, but there doesn't seem to be cells, which is bizarre because we're in the ocean. There should be a lot of stuff right here, but there's not. It seemed like the cell populations that I expected to be there weren't showing up, and I wasn't sure whether something was wrong with the instrument, and it took a while to realize that the instrument was actually working correctly, and I was seeing things that were real in the ocean. <laughs> that really nice tight group there is my beautiful, beautiful beads, which are very focused, and so my instrument is working, even though I thought that maybe something was wrong with it. Like everything's okay, so. The nice thing about the seaflow is that it's continuously measuring phytoplankton in the surface. So instead of stopping every 20 or 30 miles to measure phytoplankton, we can be measuring their distribution continuously. The seaflow is essentially like having a hundred years at the microscope because you can count thousands of cells in a matter of minutes. Today we saw something really cool where there was a patch of water that had a really different community of phytoplankton in it, and we wouldn't have seen that patch if we had just been sampling on at stations, because it was between stations. There was a lot of larger phytoplankton. It was exciting. We think that larger cells should be able to carry more carbon to the deep ocean, but if I don't find that, it'll still be really interesting. <laughs>